Hi and welcome to the Trucking Scribe, it's Esther. Today we're going to do a little review on this little thermal printer. I'm going to make a couple of these because I'm needing to make them right now. And y'all probably already know how to make them, but it's more of a crap with me today. I've just been real busy lately. A lot going on, so... Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank Hi, and welcome to the Trucking Scribe. Today I'm looking at this little printer that was sent to me by HPRT. They are they have an Amazon account. I'm going to do a review on it for you guys, and there I do have two links where you can get 30% off. So I hope you enjoy the video. Go ahead and open it up and see what's in here. I don't know if I'm gonna have to charge it. I know that it uses the app on your phone, so that's gonna be something like it to work around. It comes in a nice little case. I like it. Oh, and there's your paper. This open this way, so I wonder if that means your paper goes in that way. Let's see. Paper direction. So I have mine in upside down. Looks like it was the way I had pulled it out. Is the way it goes in. This is supposed to be on the bottom. Yeah, this looks right. I have not used this before, so you know, and, and may not read that the direction very well. So it's a smart pocket primer. Let's see what we got. Connect the device. So I think I might be able to do it with my iPad. I had it out. Let's see what we can do because I film with my phone. Oh, might as well walk all the way through it with you, huh? There you go. I'm using the QR code. I've just learned how to use those recently. Okay. So here, print. Okay. So this is, and I'm going to put all of this, let's see if I can get this to work. Like that. No, I don't want that either. There we go. So I do have an Amazon purchase link that's good through October 31st, and I have an official store link that's going to be good through December 31st. So we'll see how this works, and if you get to see the video, then... I really liked it. So, let's see if it's charged. I'm going to put it on the charger. It's probably going to charge it. Oh, you know what? I put this over here and forgot we're supposed to be setting it up. Oh, there you go. So I downloaded the app, Connect Printer. One thing I do not see is a charger for it. I have charged this for quite a while. So let's see. We got it turned on. I'm going to connect the printer. There it goes. Alright. So I could do pictures. Let's see what I got. wonder if one of these would work. The one of my Wombo. So we put the picture in. Now it says edit. I'm not going to edit. Here is a printer sign. It is going to be in black and white. So it looks like we can do density. Make it different densities. I like how that's looking. So we're going to hit print. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I like it. So 
but yesterday I made some of these. Some cute little folios. And I'm going to make some in this video. Um, so what I want to do is get this, I think, let's see if I can do this. Save it to photo. Save image. I might be able to do it the other way. So I don't know. I'll go back over here. Image. So I have to go back to my iPad. Not that one. And I'll see how crazy this is. It's me. So I don't want that picture. Here's a file button. Let's try the file. There it is. So I don't want all this on there. I just want one part of it. So let me see. Props. So Y'all getting to see this all in real time. So let me come over here. So what I'm wanting to do is make a sticker that matches my little journal. I'll bring that up. There we go. Okay, so this will match this one. It doesn't say the same thing, but I have actually I do I forgot I made these two so these are just the little ones that one is this one and I'm gonna click yes okay brought that up nice I think I still want to edit again let's see just because of that line right there okay Then I'm going to go to printer. You can do different. You can do it lighter, darker. I think I'm going to go with dark. Hit print. So I could make some of these to go with my journals and send them off with them. So, yeah, that looks cute. So I put this right in here, which I'm going to do, and just stick it in here. So now it has its own little sticker thing. So let me see. I want to go back to the file thing here and see if I can put it to files. See, now these are some that I worked on this morning. Let's see. I actually have them printed right here. So I'll be cutting these, trimming these up, and see, there he is. Not that one. Let's see if you don't let me you see that. It does not look as good as the other ones. Let me go back, see what else I can find. I wonder if it's because of the colors. Hmm. Um, let me try this one. I mean, I guess it's okay. So I, this here, and I didn't know all this. This, I'm sure, has a lot better directions, but I'm just playing with it. So our text is original. When I hold up start with, then we got text one. So you don't see a whole lot of text back there. Text 2 is starting to show some of that. So there is some background text in this. And you can really see it right there. So I'm kind of liking that one. Let's see. I want to crop it because I don't know it that big. 
And once you get yours cropped, you know, you won't be doing all this. You'll have it ready. Look at that. We'll hit the check button. So this is what we're going to get. So that was in the dark. Let's try the, the next one down. So there's one. And they are curling up on me, so let's see. I lay them down where I can keep up with them. So darkest to lightest. And then we'll print them without the Okay. Now let's try it without that text. Where did that go? Let's see. So I do want to try this to print it with the text and without. So that one just didn't come out good. But I do like the option. Let's go back. Let's try this one. And you can change the, the colors too. So. And this is smaller because I forgot I didn't crop it. So there are several options. So these were the ones with the medium with the medium text. From light to dark. I kind of like this one out of that. But then here I did the option of this feature here where you can make the text bigger or more to find or not. So that turned out pretty good. This one did. But that's what you get from playing with it. I actually like this one the best. Between these two and I think I like this one because it shows up more of the the pattern. So let's see. Let me crop it again. So that is the highest that it will go. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to hit the darkest right there. So, yeah, these would be great to go in my Christmas, in my packaging for mail and office stuff. I like how they just come out. So, what other thing I want to look at? Let's see what I got. Files. You could do web pages. You could do a sketch and paint. Oh, look at that. Let's go back. Oh, let's see if I can do a heart on my finger. I'm going to hit yes and I'm going to print. Let's see what it does. So we get this again to make it lighter or darker. Look like it's doing much difference on that. And you can print, go print up some more. So 
just to give it a nice little look at that cute little thing I like it so I would recommend this and I'm going to put it down in the description below I like this so today I'm working on a little folio I think I a lot over here it just opens up you got journaling cards two big journaling pockets right there and you got tags it comes with six tags you got three pockets right here and then two right here so and I put a piece of velcro right there and it just closes up. It's a really nice size. See, it's like five and a half by eight and a half up here. Yep. So it's very nice. But what I wanted to show you, this is one of the pages that I'm working on. So I tried, I had all this extra white space right here, right there, right there. So this is what I've been doing with it. I just put these on there and then trim as close as I can to this part. I'll show you. And then I've got journaling cards. I'm not wasting that particular card. So what I'm going to do, so I'm not cutting directly on that because I'm going to use the cutter. Mine on this one. I'm not closer on that one. So then I just trim it down. You could leave it in a triangle if you want to. And what I may do is just cut that one off. So that's one. Then I start trimming up my pockets. So there's one pocket and one bunny. So then we got the other side to look at. What I'm going to do is try and get the pig right there as close as I can. And then you see I've got right here. Just a little more. So I've got a pretty good sized journaling card. It does need even it up, but right now. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Let's just trim it down. Okay. And then I had a tag I need to trim one more. So see how much paper I'm saving? Um... I have a couple of other ones that I'm working on that, that I've already posted. And I think I'm going to go in and redo those and put some some of these little fussy cut things. You could do fussy cuts or cut them out like journaling cards like I'm doing. It comes with all of this so you get three journaling cards, you get three long pockets, eight these kind of pockets, and you have three of these, so that's eight, nine, ten, eleven, 14 pockets in this kit. So if you get the digital kit, which is on my website, the Pixel, it's Pixel Scribe Studio is my digital site. Now I am selling these that I'm making on my physical store, which is the Truck and Scribe. So then you get six tags. It goes with it. So all of this. I have them priced for $3.99 and they're on discount on top of that right now. So definitely go check it out. 
we're going to set these apart over here. And the reason I know I'm showing y'all all this, but I've kind of been like a lot going on the last couple, the last month or so. So what I'm going to do is score these lines. So this is the first thing. I line it up here on the six, and then I come down here, this black mark. See that just goes straight down. So Miss E over at Scrapbook came with me is where I first heard that. I don't know why that was actually stuck in my mind. So I did cut these out, as you can tell. And I'm going to do the same thing here. This is the line. And these two do not need a score line. So once you score these, you just take and fold it like this. And I like to use my bone folder to score that and really press that down because it just makes it fold better. Now one thing I am doing is I am going to be checking my sides. So, let's see. The way I can do this is like this. So this one fits perfectly right there. And this one's going to go this way. Yeah. I do have a little bit on the top, but we're going to trim that off last if it's still there. Okay. So this is your side. And this is one flap. So what we're going to do is glue this middle piece right here, just like that. This is really easy to put together after you get it cut. Well, even cutting it out doesn't take a long time. So we'll take this and I'm going to put it right there best I can to be straight. So I hope that y'all are having a good week. It's Monday, so I'm not sure yet how my week is going. So I'm making sure this will fold too. So then we got this piece, which is going to go right here. We're going to put glue right on this side. So then I'm going to do the same thing is I kind of like turning them over like this and lining them up. I'm still off a little bit. But. So I did have to go in. I had uploaded some of these yesterday and the center part wasn't right, but I fixed that this morning. So now to finish this back off, we're just going to glue this one right here. And I'm going to get it down that way. I'm going to put glue on my very edges. Now, because I'm sewing these, I'm not inking them up. They would look good inked up. And I may do some like that, but I'm, if I do, I'll have to charge more. You know, I don't know why I didn't think. I like using my glue stick right here. Let's see if I can get some out. Because that gives it just a little bit more body when you use glue stick. I'm telling y'all, I am off with my filming thing with, with all that's been going on. I feel like I'm just lost. So I'm going to put this right up next to that. And I'm looking down here so I have an even edge. And I'm going to take my bone folder and squish it. That way we can make sure we got all that. Okay. So like I said, we are going to trim it when we get done. I did go ahead and round these corners. Because the journaling cards are going to be that way. So this is a full kit. 
along with the teddy bear one. This is all right here. Plus the journaling cards that I got over there. What I've been doing, the one thing I don't like about not inking it is I have to get so close to that edge where you see the white. So what I've been doing is putting this in the middle, and you see there's this can be a little bit bigger, a little bit short. Pockets are going to be a little bit smaller, but that helps when we're folding this in. So this one I put them in the middle, and this is the one that was a little bit shorter. I did trim off a little to get it to fit, but I kind of like this particular layout. And I've got the jasmine, winter jasmine. This one's laid out the same way as this one, so two here. The lavender, I think, no, I, I put them all that way. I had started, I was going to put these over here, but it just, they look better this way. And these are just, all of them are in my shop that I've got folded right now. These three are in my physical shop, but you can get the digital to print them off like this. So what I do is I'm going to start right in here somewhere and kind of look how much I need because that is another thing is you can space these out to where they are longer. So what I did with the two big ones is I just glued down the side so that's going to leave us room And I am kind of pushing this up. And see down here, I didn't glue there. I'm going to do the next one the same way. Just so I hope y'all been getting ready for Christmas and stuff. I know a lot of people are already working on their Christmas things, and I am too. Um, and I saw these quilted little stuffed animals, and I've got a quilted girl and flowers, and it was just, oh, man, I love quilting. I did get the bottom. So I am trying to line these up along this edge. And since they came off from the same page, you can do that. Now this one's a little bit harder to get the center up a little bit because you've got this part that you need down too. You don't have to be up a lot just where you can get stuff in. So then here I'm putting this kind of like right there where it starts to to round out and you can put either one. Whichever one you like. I kind of like the pig right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to glue three sides of this. The one without the, the notch is the one I'm going to glue. And if you wanted to put both of your both of your pockets right here, you can. Then you can put one, two, or three over here. So some of these are different sizes. There's some that are this size. Let's see. Hmm. All right, that's what we do. So these are more the same size. They're not perfect because I don't cut perfect. I don't know where this one came from. One, two, three. I must have really cut that one off. How did it get so much bigger? Yeah, it goes right there. Hmm. There it is. There's that other one. Okay. So you get four of these. So you could layer these like, like we did right here, and you could put several. But you're not going to see the animal. It's the one thing. But I think the extra pockets make it look pretty cool. 
So I'm, I might do that is just turn that off just a little bit. And this. So I can put one layer. One layer. Let's see what's happening. I've got some shorter and some smaller. What I'm going to do get that evened up. Now, if you cut straight, which obviously I did not, you don't have to worry about this. I'm just going to trim that little bit off so they're all the same length. Not too worried about that part. So, when you cut them out, they are the same length if you were to. Cut on the line. Not cut on the line. So what I'm gonna do on this is the same thing. I'm gonna glue here and here. And I'm not gonna go all the way up to the edge of that either. I'm gonna kind of center it and I'm gonna push it in a little bit to give it some room there. And then my next one, I'm gonna. Well, yep, I didn't mean. Okay. I'll get one of these. Okay. So I'm just gluing this side. And what you can do is. You could put some signatures in here. So in one and have it right there. So I'm thinking I want him on the front. Yeah. You know, her ears gonna be showing. But he's going to take a chance of the ear showing. It's a little bit high, but not I want to leave it like that. It could be a design element. So I could have left these pockets blank, but I decided not to because you might want to use these pockets in another project. So what I am going to do. Since I rounded that corner, because I'm going to round this one, and I did these on a 10, so it's not going to quite go up there, but at least it's round. So this one I am going to glue down all sides, or not all sides, but I'm going to glue across the bottom with my crooked driving today. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm, I shouldn't be surprised the other ones look pretty good. So then when you get done, if you print this whole kit out, you will have these four pockets left that you could do another one from. You'll have this pocket. You have the front. Now here's where the journaling cards You'd have to print some extras of those off the other. Um, just print those off extra. But you wouldn't need any more pockets on this. You could print this one out. And you're saving paper and you're getting two folios at the same time. So then you do get six tags. So we got... And this is what comes in the kit. So you get all that. And like I said, then you get this. So you get ten little cards. You can put five of these in this one and five in this other one. 
to have a matching, two matching sets, especially if you had twins, it might work. So, my closure, I'm using Velcro. And I'm kind of finding a spot right in there where it's kind of even. And then, that right there. I don't know if I'm going to need to cut this at all, trim it down, because it seems like, oh no, it's not done yet. So the other thing that you can do is you could put some stuff over here and cover up that there and just have more pockets, so that's just up to you. I tried to leave it versatile, so you could cover up the bear with the pockets or not. I like it where they're showing some of the the animals so and this here went really good with it so for me I have one more thing to do and that's just to glue a little label on it so I have this little heart punch I know a lot of y'all got one and one day I was sitting here and I needed something I was looking I was going to stamp this, and I had this brown cardstock scrapbook paper, and I had this, so I went started stamping it, and it's become like a, a little brandy thing of reusing things. So I am trying, as I make these kits, to use as much of the paper as I can. That's why I did the. That's why I did the little these little things. Here's some. Of, I've got another one to put together. Here's some of those. So I'll put this one together and I will come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I remember to come back. And just tell you guys goodbye. So these are what I made today. They turned out pretty good. Got little pockets in them. Here's that those labels I made. I don't know if I have these up in my shop by the time the video goes up, but I'm gonna try. So I hope you guys have a great weekend. A great week. It is not the weekend. Feels like it needs to be. And I just started. So it'd be great if you left me a comment. Let me know what you think about these new little folios that I've been working on. Um, hit the like button. And if you're new here, it'd be great if you hit the subscribe button also. Thank you. Have a great day.